You're now tuned out to, to, to Nashville. There's so much that we realize. That's why time is nigh. So run, 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 run. Everybody just. <laughs> Run is a 2020 American psychological thriller film that is directed by Anise Changathy. It is also written by Changathy and Seth Ohonian, a homeschooled teenager who begins to suspect her mother is keeping a dark secret from her. While she goes behind her mother to find answers, things begin to become more horrific as the mother is not only aware of her actions, but she begins to tighten the pressure, which leads to not only truth and lies, but life and death. What a hellish ride. I mean, I have no other ways to express this film. It's a hellish ride. It's thrilling. It's chilling. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. It keeps you guessing. And you do not know what is going to happen next. It's a hellish ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hellish ride is what I'm essentially saying. It's going to be hard for you to try to figure things out on a long run. With me, not really. It kind of made sense to me throughout like the beginning of the film and kind of close to the second half, but because of what they showed us. But as the acting, the acting was phenomenal. It bought me in, especially with the two main characters. Sarah Paulson, the person who played the mother character, look, if anybody knows Sarah Paulson, y'all know that she's a very good actress. She is good at just switching up her roles. She's good at doing this. And with Mother, I guess they wanted to try to make her, they wanted to put all her acting skills to the test. We know that you're good at playing a good guy. We're good at, we know that you're good at playing a bad guy. We know that you're good at switching up certain ideal methods of just how to keep people guessing on screen. And she has passed she kept me guessing she kept me wondering what was she up to next and the way how she treats her daughter is very crazy like at one point you're on her side but at the same time you wonder why she's doing this to her daughter like there are certain times like that like every day like they have to go through rules like there are certain things that her daughter has to eat medication like she like it, it's normal stuff but then it begins to dial up dial up dial up you begin to wonder what type of medication she's using. As a daughter begins to get frustrated and tries to figure out why is she doing this to her in the first place? Why she can't be on a phone late at night? Why she can't be on a computer late at night? What is up with me not checking my emails? Why I can't get the door whenever, whenever somebody knocks? It's everything that her mother does is unnecessary, but at the same time, you be, it begins to make sense why her mom is so protective and why she tries to treat her daughter so isolated the movie starts off as a drama film but as her daughter begins to try to figure things out it becomes suspenseful very quick and then when it then when we get through the suspense then it becomes a thriller and then it ends with horror and it all matches this, this film very perfectly and i loved it a lot and Sarah Paulson, I don't think no one could have done a better job than her. She has killed the shit out of this role. I don't think anybody, I'm, I'm not, look, I'm not exaggerating. I think no one could have done a better job than her. We can debate this. <laughs> we can debate this, but see the film first and then you will know what I'm talking about. Now, Chloe Sherman, um, the daughter character that is played by um, Kira Allen. I did not know her character. But by seeing her perform, I was pulled in. I was bought to her performance. I was bought to her acting. And by her being a disabled female into this film, and by her, because she's in a wheelchair, so it, it's kind of harder. It's very harder for her to try to escape her mom as her mom tries to pursue her, tries to get a hold of her and stuff. So it's the odds are stacked against her. But, the, but as she plays this role, it's believable. You feel as if she is actually suffering from the stuff that she has to go through when it comes to her um, moving on her own when she doesn't have a wheelchair. And I did not know it was painful. I did not look. <laughs> I'm not disabled, but I didn't know for being a disabled person 
um, that is paralyzed from the leg down. I did not know that by you moving your weight like that, I didn't, I had to do some research in, but that's because of how well she's acted and it was very believable and to turn out, it turns out she's actually, um, she's actually disabled. She's actually in a wheelchair. So I feel like it wasn't acting. It was well performed. Like she was actually going through this stuff and it felt believable. That's why I had to do a research with her character because when she had to get away from her mother and when she had to do like certain scenes where she had to pull her weight to go to certain aspects to one and another, you feel the pain she has to go through. And that's very well warranted. Kind of Oscar worthy, in my opinion, by her, by not just going through the phases of her has to um, have to escape her mother through the pain she has to go through to move her own body, but going through authenticity as well. The, mo the movie is more than just about the, the horror aspects and the thriller aspects. It shows you the weight of two characters trying to collide with each other when it comes to Sarah Paulson's character that's trying to hide answers and um, Kira Allen that's trying to find answers. It is kind of hard. It's, it's, I keep saying kind of. It's very hard to try to come across Sarah Paulson's character because she has the advantage. She is a very well crafted and very well smart mother. She knows all the tricks. She knows all the things that her daughter can be up to. And she rips out all her resources. She can't walk. So she has to depend on certain little things to help her get around the aspects to try to outwit her mother. And the ending. The ending of the film was satisfying. I loved it. Very poetic justice in a turn. I haven't felt like when it comes to movies, that has good thriller aspects and good horror aspects. I really judge it of how it's going to end. I know movies that start off fresh, start off strong, but then they just fall flat on its ass when it comes to the climax because they don't know how to wrap up everything in a film. They put too much in the beginning, in the middle, but then I want to know how everything is going to play out. The great thing about this film is that it's executed well. Does that mean this movie is perfect? Not quite. There's one thing that I felt like they added in a film that was not necessary. And it's the beginning, the very beginning. I felt like they should have took that part out. And it, that's just my opinion. There are some people that wanted that part on that. They made debate saying that the, that part was necessary. But for people like me that figure things out quickly, as soon as they showed that scene in the beginning of the film, I was already like, What's the word I'm looking for? I was already on edge with the character. I was already on edge with Sarah Paulson's character and Kyra Allen's character as the movie went on because of what they showed us in the beginning. I felt like if they did not show us that in the beginning, I would have been still curious of how things was playing out. But as they showed that part, not only that I was able to figure out everything before it, before they explained it to us but it but i figured out very quickly i was like you know what i'm pretty sure she's doing it because of this reason and little did i know lord behold i figured it out or like i was right but that's just my um opinion about it because everybody's brains um, function differently but if you're into horror if you're into Thriller films, movies like this, you, you're going to like Run. Run is a very good, satisfactory film. You won't be sorry. But for people like me who watch horror films on a regular, thriller films on a regular, we try to pick it out with a common sense method. And this movie, it has common sense, but at the same time, it kind of want to treat fans as if we're not going to figure it out, even if they show certain scenes that hold you by the hand. And it's not just that scene. There are certain things on the film that should not be there that they have there anyway. I'm going to have to give Run an A. I enjoyed this film, not just because of what it was executed, but just the acting and the way how everything progressed with the character development. They pick the perfect characters for this role. Sarah Paulson, I love their character. I love her performance. Everything that she did and everything that she does in films is always phenomenal. Now, for Kira Allen, for what was given to her, I thought it was perfect because it wasn't just acting. She was really going through these things in the film, and it really pulled me in. So by, by that being, and not just a film that just 
have two characters duking it out and just trying to figure things out with each other. But this being a horror film, I like it when we have characters that really have the odds stacked against them. No weapons, um, no transportation. They're isolated. But for them being disabled, for them not being able to walk, by them also suffering authenticity, and she goes through this in real life. I have to keep reminding you that guys this. I thought that's a new way for us to be on the edge of our seat. That's creatively done. <laughs> well, that's all I have to say for today. Please stay tuned for more of my upcoming reviews and videos headed your way. This is Hugo, your critic teacher, and you guys have a damn good day.